It's been a while since people have lined up to get into the Colorado Convention Center, but there they were the other day, a bunch of 17-year-old volleyball players getting ready to take their sport back indoors. Denver welcomes Crossroads Volleyball to 2021. More than 5,000 athletes from 440 teams competed in a vast hall that's been dark virtually all of the past year. It is wonderful. I was not sure that it was going to happen. <laughs> so. Kay Rognus is in charge of this annual tournament, which was the last event held at the convention center in 2020 before the pandemic interruption. And perhaps appropriately, is the facility's first big event this year. It's a great day today. Uh, you know, it's really a tipping point of our recovery. Richard Scharf heads Denver's nonprofit tourism organization, which reported $1 billion in lost business due to canceled conventions and meetings over the past year. For cities like Denver, the pandemic has meant empty sidewalks and largely empty hotels and restaurants. But as things start to open up, that's gradually beginning to change. I think what we're going to see is the leisure market is going to really take off this year. This tournament, which could bring a $13 million economic impact, is the city dipping its toes back in the convention waters. Elaborate procedures are in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Fewer teams were invited this year, so courts could be spaced apart. Participants must take COVID-19 tests before they arrive in Denver. Masks, of course, are mandatory. I hope that we're doing our part to prove that you can have larger gatherings and still keep people safe. The general manager of the Hyatt Regency Hotel next to the convention center is crossing his fingers. He laid off a number of employees when the pandemic hit. As the business comes back, we are starting to bring some of that staff back. Greg Leonard knows conventions may go more online in the future. But I don't think it will uh, you know, eliminate the need for that face-to-face -face, uh, connection forever. For these volleyballers, that face-to-face -face was overdue. Getting uh, something that we all do on a daily basis taken away because of COVID was really detrimental to everyone's mental health and stuff. So to come back out here and travel and have fun with my teammates is really exciting. To see all these volleyball players out on the sidewalks, walking to the convention center, it's just exciting to see people out on the streets and that's what we need. It makes a city a vibrant place. And a thriving one that Denver of old may be back soon. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.